Hey, BC. Well, I broke down after um, paying some bills and um, I went uh, shopping and bought a couple records. Um, I was, I, I really needed to. I mean, you know, money and the mind and psychology is very, very odd. You know, um, when I first started out in my 20s with the job that I had forever, um, it just worked out that I bought my car and my insurance and everything all came due in the fall, right about this time, October, November. And sure enough, this is usually a pretty hopping time for record releases, but even beyond that, it just always seems that I'll have this hot itch to buy records just when I have these huge bills due. Well, I paid them all. I have one more big bill, uh, the second half of my uh, house insurance for, year, for the year to pay, which I'll be paying next week. Then I have to go through it next year. And that's how I'm operating. You know, if I can feed myself and, you know, keep the government from taking my house away, which I own by paying taxes, and then also by paying the stupid insurance in case something happens, you know what I'm saying? All this money, fuck, you know, it's ridiculous. But anyway, that's my operating, uh, modus operandi, just to keep running. I mean, you know, the idea of building a head of, head of steam financially, you know, I'm just happy to be alive. I need, I need that. But man, the world is just so screwy right now from my point of view that thinking in those old terms is just, I think, maybe I'm nuts to be doing this to myself, but I'm just happy to be alive. Anyway, as a result of doing that, I said to myself, let me reward myself. Let me go see what's at the record shop. I've been having this feeling, plus Jesse Kunda in the BC from Omaha has He's messaged me twice this week about Almost Music, the uh, the new record store, the new used record store in Omaha, how they've been getting stuff in. And I've been having that nagging feeling too that I better go down there. So I did. Didn't spend much, thankfully. They've been selling my records. They've been selling. People are buying my records here now in Omaha. So anyway, I uh, just got a few things, and I'll sh I'll show them in the uh, yeah. So I really like um, Brad's story. You know, his eye and his sensibility is good. Look what I got in the dollar section today. A mint copy of Tangerine on Creation. Now, admittedly, this was not one of the strongest bands on Creation, but I, for one, am still all about picking up on the Creation label. Anytime I can for cheap, hell yes. Now, musically, this is really not bad. What mars it is the fact that these guys are, they're uh, novices, they're amateurs, and so the guys, the main singer's tonality is like mine. He's chasing the note all the time. That's why I don't sing too much, because I'm not good at hitting the note. But that was only a dollar. The other thing that was only a dollar today, and the cover's beat, but I can't leave this for a dollar. Brian Auger, Oblivion Express, closer to it, a UK pressing. Different cover than the US one on RCA. I'm a sucker for, you, you all know that. For a buck? And this is such a wonderful, feel good album. What is it, happiness is just around the bend? I mean, that's such a wonderful, I mean, if the sun isn't shining, put that song on and you'll swear the sun is. Okay. This, I almost didn't get it, but I thought to myself, it's not that it's a great album, but it's the combination. I want it, I grabbed it, and he gave me a nice price on it. Tom Tom Club, Close to the Bone. 
It's a UK pressing. This is a fun record, you know. I did play all of this uh, one side today because I really, it was fun. But Island on Blue Vinyl, hell yes. Knocked it down from $8 to $6. Heck yes. By the way, we're listening to yours truly in the background. I'm still kind of stuck on stupid, listening to a lot of myself, you know, as I work on the tunes. Okay, these last few were just really wonderful. So this one I had not seen before. Um, I don't remember seeing this. Vangelis. Entend tu les chien aboyé? Aboyé? I should have looked it up. I, I almost think I can translate, but I won't. On B A S F, baby. Yeah. This was like 10 bucks. Well worth it. 10 bucks is a great price for something like this. I'm going to keep on going to keep it short. This one, I used to have it, and I... He had it for 15 bucks. Picture music on Sky with Cluster and Eno, Michael Rother, Harless, um, Street, Street Mark. They put out two of these um, Sky Discs. And, um, are these, are they? Oh, man. Beautiful. And the last thing I bought, there's a bonus, but the last thing I bought, I spent the most on, but he still gave it to me at a really nice price. I won't say it's a real nice price. Mars Volta Octahedron. And I like this one, you know. It gets kind of smacked around by Mars Volta supposed fans, but I, I like this one. And the other thing is the the presentation of this is monster. I remember when it came out, the colors, these are my favorite, this color scheme, I'm drawn to it. And then that's those images, those shapes, and then the uh, embossing or debossing, whatever you want to call that. And I just hesitated too long and then they were gone. So when I saw this today, at the price, you know, I said, I gotta grab it, and and it's good, and it's it's in brand new shape. Octahedron, Mars Volta. Uh, I recommend Almost Music in Omaha highly. It's a brand new used record store. Brad, I forget his last name. He knows what he's doing. He loves good music check out what he did so I'm at this counter buying this stuff and we're talking and I spot a few records behind the counter and asked him about the Bohemian Vendetta on mainstream it was a reissue but he said it was warped but then I spotted behind it another record and I said well, wait, what is that what was that what was that you know I said oh it's, this is even worse he said it came in but uh, it's uh, it's warped <clears throat> uh, partially plays and I said, I'll buy it. You never, I never see this. He said, I can't sell this to you. So he gave it to me. Ptarmigan, produced by Paul Horn. Canadian folk mystical psych band. The uh, side two, I mean, it is warped. So the beginning of side two won't play, but I was prepared to spend money for this because this is one of those kind of records that you don't see. Ptarmigan. And, um, he gave it to me. This is what I look for. He gave it to me. I gotta stop there, guys. <laughs> 